this is Niella. Thank you so much for joining me again today. So today what I would like to do is really share with you um, the conclusions I've come to about service to self and service to others. I feel that because so many of us are going through um, a lot of rapid transition, a lot of rapid healing and, and really becoming a lot more aware of where we fit in in, in the world basically. Also because I, I tend to work a lot with people that are very empathic and very sensitive, this really comes into play as well as part of the healing process and part of becoming a much more um, empowered empath. And also for everybody in general, I feel as we um, become a lot more empowered, as we become a lot more centered and a lot more balanced, probably at one point or another this topic will come into your your mind or it will come into your awareness and you may start to shift and change your initial thoughts on service to self and service to others so i've sat with this for for a while and meditated on it and gone through it with my guides metatron in particular and so i'm just going to go through um, what i've learned and like i said the conclusions that i've come to so i feel um as i've gone through the, the healing journey and becoming a lot more empowered as an empath myself that service to self although a lot of people tend to think that it's um not very toxic that that's how it's meant to be it has got a, a quite a toxic um, undertone to it if you are coming from a certain angle so I feel there can be toxic service to self and there can be toxic service to others so the empath can be um, motivated by a wounded why if you are not in a very um, empowered place if you have got a lot of healing to do and you are um, you know resonating and clicking with being an empath then there is this drive there is this tendency to heal others to make others feel better generally so that you feel better yourself so in actual fact you may be going in there thinking that it's service to others but in actual fact because you're not looking at your own wounds so to speak because you haven't done any healing of your own you are trying to make somebody else feel better so that you feel better so therefore there's quite a selfish um, motivation there you know your your gain there is to make other people feel feel better so that you feel better but you're not looking inwardly you're not looking at your own wounds you're not um, doing the work internally you're very much projecting outwards you're looking outwards and you're trying to fix the world around you without actually looking at what's going on within yourself so therefore like I said it, it is very toxic it, it becomes toxic service to self what we really need to be doing is to focus on ourselves to heal the wounds within ourselves feel the, the heal the wounds that are presenting in ourselves and then we're we're coming from a much more balanced place you know we're, we're not seeking to heal others we're not seeking to be um you know a savior we're not trying to um do the work for others without doing the work internally and so therefore everything starts to become a lot more balanced if we think about service to others from this toxic viewpoint we're really putting others needs before our own you know we're not we're not putting ourselves in in the hole here you know we're very much thinking of everybody else but rejecting ourselves neglecting our, ourselves and therefore we cannot have wholeness we cannot have oneness because you're you're putting yourself aside of that and therefore it does become all out of balance and in the same way if we think of service to self um 
once we realize that it's much healthier to put the focus back on ourselves it becomes much more healthier it becomes much more balanced and much more productive in the long run you know we're much more able to to give others um something a lot more balanced something a lot more substantial because our cup is full because we've done the healing that has been required we've addressed the things that needed to be addressed and we're not going in there as a savior role we're very much you know allowing others to come to us because maybe they they want to um learn from us because they understand that we've perhaps gone through something ourselves so that we can give um, a balanced input so that we can come from a balanced viewpoint we are coming from um, a place of, of wisdom because you know we've gone through that ourselves we've healed ourselves so then we can share that wisdom with others so if we think about all of us what we're all in a place right now is we're, we're, we're wanting to come back to center point we're wanting to be balanced so instead of going out you know seeking 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 we're actually coming inwards and there may be certain questions that are presented or certain themes or you know where you're asking yourself certain things it's very important when we're coming back into ourselves to check on ourselves you know where are we off balance where we are are we off center point we really need to gauge um, where we're at so instead of looking outward, who's off balance? Who can I save? Who can I help? Coming back inwardly, what are these people um, showing me? You know, what is it highlighting within myself? Is it pure intention as well? You know, you're you're going in into somebody else's energy. You're going into somebody else's life. Why? What are your intentions? You know, are you just purely? wanting them to feel better so that you feel better are you wanting all of their wounds to be healed so that you're not feeling it so intensely and if that's the case then you need to work on yourself it's really highlighted certain boundaries that are coming into play and also energetically that you need to you know really build up your energy field so that you're not taking it on so much what is the why you know what is the driving force of your your service to others again you know it why are you doing it what is the reason what are you gaining from this what is your energy like as well first and foremost you know if your energy is not in a very good place you you're not in that that position where you can give really good energy to others so again coming back into yourself and really checking in on where you're at energy wise what energy are you putting out? It's very important. And that is why it's so important to understand that service to self is actually a very healthy thing. It's not a bad thing. It's not a selfish thing. It's actually very healthy to put focus on ourselves. And we need to understand about our manifestation as well. When we are manifesting from pure intention, it actually benefits all of us. So if you are wanting to manifest good health, if you are wanting to manifest stability, if you are wanting to manifest balance, if you are wanting to manifest um, abundance, if you are wanting to manifest happiness or self-love, all these things, it really benefits others because you are raising your energy, you are raising your frequency and then you're really helping to raise the collective energy of, of all, of the whole. So we are understanding that by serving ourselves we actually can can you know radiate that energy out and, and it is actually therefore in turn service to others so this is about really transitioning into service to all and really giving from a much higher place from a higher service we are then giving to all so if we think about say if you are in a job that you don't particularly enjoy that you're not getting much fulfillment for it but you're going there every day and you're giving this horrible energy out because you're only half really there you're not really giving your all you know it, it's 
it's making you feel very snappy perhaps on edge maybe anxious you know like I said you're not really giving your all it would be much more beneficial to not be doing that job at all and perhaps you know be at home and you know maybe just focus on you get your energy right get your health right get your mental state right and then do something that you enjoy doing so maybe you're very creative maybe you're into the arts maybe you like making music for a certain time it may actually be beneficial to everybody for you to focus on your likes to focus on what makes you happy to focus on what makes you tick and then you know you're gonna be going out into the street and and you know smiling at other people giving out some really positive good energy rather than going into this job that is just sucking the life out of you sucking the energy out of you and making you not very enjoyable to be around and maybe you're starting to dislike yourself so this is why service to self can be very beneficial to everybody we also need to understand that material gain only um, versus the greatest good of all also brings everything out of balance you know yes we live in a material world yes we are going to need certain material things but if your drive is purely to have you know the the, the best material um of of everything so to speak but you you get it and you you're unfulfilled you get it and you're not happy you know that maybe the the new car or the trainers or whatever it is but you're getting it and you're then straight away onto the next thing straight away onto the next thing it's not connecting with your heart you're not really getting much enjoyment from those things and you're probably just building up this big pile of things that you don't love that you don't enjoy but it's just the drive of getting those things so again it's really tuning into your intention tuning into your motivation tuning into your drive why are you doing this is it because there's a program running saying that you need those things that it's to do with status or is it because it's coming from in there you know there's a driving force coming from your heart coming from your soul that is going to light you up when you get that certain thing because there's nothing wrong with going for something material there's nothing wrong with that at all but it's why are you doing it why are you going for that thing so it's all about tuning into which works best for you but also which works best for all because if it's making you feel better and more balanced and more stable then it's actually going to be beneficial for everybody for you to be happy for you to be healthy for you to be your best self then that is actually benefiting everybody I hear a lot as well about um, losing yourself in service or losing yourself in service to others and again this can actually be very toxic especially for somebody who is like me who is a natural giver and in the past I have given and given and given and actually burnt myself out so in a way I was getting lost in in service to others but again I was neglecting my own needs I was forgetting about myself and therefore everything was completely out of balance I'm now in a place of understanding that I have to be in my best place I have to be healthy I have to be um, strong within myself so that I can give the best of myself to others and there was a very warped um, understanding of that for myself where I, I felt that I couldn't focus on me that it, it was selfish and any time I did I, I would feel very guilty even you know about you know buying myself s certain things like new clothes and things that I actually needed I would feel very guilty about it and now I understand that you know that was that was very <laughs> very silly um, so everything's come in a lot more balanced for me in in my own life now so we need to understand that um, service for self 
can be an amazing thing and service to others can be an amazing thing but also because we are well living in a, a world right now that has got flip sides that has got duality there can be um, a toxic side to service to self and there can be a toxic side to service to others so what we are now transitioning into what is going to make things a lot more balanced for everybody and much healthier for everybody is that we move into service to all we make sure that we're okay and then we can you know give our best self to others so it's all about bringing everything back into balance so i hope that has helped you in some way today i am going to leave that with you if you enjoyed this video if it helped you in any way then please give it a thumbs up maybe share it um like it subscribe all those good stuff will really help me and help my channel i'm going to leave that with you today i'm sending you all my love i'm wishing you all the very very best and i hope to see you again very very soon goodbye for now